Have you ever seen a pure CSS website where each and every element is brought to life through just CSS? I'm sure you have. But as a developer, I'm sure you have faced difficulties with shapes like being constrained to insert a floating image with a transparent background and then you get disappointed by seeing a rectangular box around it. I know the pain. In this interesting video, we will see some basic CSS shapes with a few functional values to code them. I'll cover a couple of advanced CSS shapes in my next release. I will start with the basics as usual. We'll see a square, rectangle, circle, an ellipse and triangles. So let's begin with square and rectangle. They are the most common natural shapes in web development and the easiest ones too. All you need to do is to create a div and give it a height and width. Let's begin. I define the HTML first. Let me give body inside that a division. Let me name it. I'll say rec-sq. Also giving two more class square and rectangle. Now let's go to the CSS section. Giving display colon flex property to the division. For your information, the flex property sets the flexible length of the flexible items, giving some gap and margin to both, adding width, height and background color to square first, and now adding width, height and background color to the rectangle. Here are your two shapes, square and rectangle. Let's see how they can be converted to a circle and an ellipse. Now in this same code, if I assign a border radius to 50% to the square, then you'll get a circle. And if I do the same with the rectangle, we'll get an ellipse. Isn't it so simple? Let's see how it works. I'll change square and rectangle to circle and ellipse respectively in the HTML and changing the square to circle here in CSS. Let me give the border radius 50% changing the rectangle to ellipse and giving border radius to 50% as well. Now you see how the same square and rectangle can be converted into totally different shapes just by adding border radius. Wondering how triangles can be made? We'll use borders to create all sorts of triangles. All you need to do is to set the width and height of the triangle to zero. It simply means that the actual width of the element will be the width of the border itself. Remember that the border edges are 45 degrees diagonal to each other. So if you set any three of them to transparent, you'll get your triangle. Let me show you how. First, let's define a class triangle and let's provide CSS. Width and height both zero giving border style to solid and because I want to show you how to create a single triangle first I will show how many triangles can we have in a square so giving border width 100 pixels each and border color CMYK that is cyan magenta yellow and black so we now have four triangles as you can see they all are triangles but facing different directions now I just want a single triangle. Let's say this yellow one which is the triangle facing upwards. So now let me just change class name to triangle up. And here is the CSS as well. Now look, because I want the yellow triangle so I will set the top right and left border color to transparent, keeping the bottom as it is. So transparent, transparent, not touching the yellow and again transparent. So this is your upward facing triangle. Now similarly if you want a triangle down shape then you keep the top border color as it is and make others transparent. That will give a down shape triangle. And if you want a left shaped triangle then you keep all other transparent except the left border color and if you want a right shaped triangle then keep the right as it is and all others should be transparent. So these were the basic shapes. We'll see a couple of advanced shapes in the next video.